Good morning there friends and neighbors, Bobby here. Hey folks, we finally got our roof here marked off and chalked off and we are ready to start laying some new shingles. We're doing this roof in three tabs. So we've got it marked off for three tabs. Now let's explain to you exactly how to do that. Okay, let's start up here at the top corner and let's take a look at these vertical lines that are going straight down. Let me tell you what these are for, okay? Now, first of all, up here, this first vertical line, uh, there's a, the mark that I made. And by the way, uh, use a silver Sharpie when making all your marks here. And you'll see that they, you'll be able to see them really good on this black tar paper. Works out really good. Now, let's talk about this first mark. It's from 12 inches to the point which is an inch and a quarter past the molding, okay? Because that's how far we want our shingles to hang over our molding. So pull the tape measure, put you a mark where 12 inches would be, and come over here and put you a mark at 30 inches and a mark at 36 inches. Now these two marks will help keep your shingles running correctly as you go up the hill. We're going to be staggering them, stagger, staggering them every six inches, and I'll explain more about that in another video. But just go ahead and make those marks. Remember 12 inches from the point which is inch and a quarter past the molding a mark at 30 inches which is an inch and a quarter past the molding a mark at 36 do that at the top do that at the bottom and then you can chalk them vertical lines okay now let's move on down here to these horizontal lines let's talk about that let's go down here to the very bottom work our way down here slowly we don't want to end up on the ground but this first line here let me show you here with the tape measure. We want these shingles to go over, over our roof an inch and a half, okay? We're not gonna put gutters on this garage, but we do want our shingles to go an inch and a half. So pull your tape me measure past your uh, facial board an inch and a half, come up here, put you a mark at 12 inches, okay? And that will do that on this end do it on the other end also okay and you can chalk that first line now all these other existing lines going up the roof here are 10 inches apart so all you got to do is if you got someone to help you that's great you just come up here from that line right there and you mark 10 then you mark 20 then you mark 30 and then 40 50 60 70 all the way up the roof do that on both sides and then you can chalk all of your horizontal lines, okay? Now this first uh, 12 inch line that I was telling you about, on this side, you wanna do this 12 inch line on the other end of the house also. And I'll show you in a little bit why, because we're gonna run a starter row of shingles all the way across the bottom, and we're gonna run them up each side. So that's why you want this 12 inch line on both ends of the house. No need to worry about the 30 inch line and the 36 inch line. That's just for one end, whichever end you prefer to start on. I prefer to start on the end of the house that's gonna get have the most visibility. This is the driveway side of the garage, so we're gonna make sure that we have a nice clean edge up here. Folks, I wanna thank you for watching the video and I hope this helps a little bit and uh, visit us next time for another video. Take care and have a great day.